I'm Claire Ridgway, creator of the Anne Boleyn Files. I'm here today with Claire Cherry to discuss George Boleyn. Um, we've just written a book on George Boleyn called George Boleyn, Tudor Poet, Courtier and Diplomat, a biography of George. Um, another thing that we get asked is what did George Boleyn look like? I mean obviously Anne Boleyn's appearance is a bit of a mystery as well but um, what we do know is um, Anthony Wood, when he was talking about George being um, a student at Oxford, um, he talked about George's symmetry of body, which mm. makes it sound like he was yeah. handsome. And George Cavendish, in his Metrical Visions, talks about Dame Nature did her part. So he was obviously a good looking man, but we can't say that he was dark haired, dark eyed like Anne is described because we don't know what Thomas Boleyn and Elizabeth Boleyn looked like. We, you know, we don't know whether the Howards were perhaps blonde and Thomas was dark. There's just no way of knowing what he looked like, which is a shame. I mean, we've got no portraits mm. of him unless there's, you know, a portrait of an unknown man that is actually George. It's frustrating. It is frustrating that yeah. could be hidden away and mm. you can just. We don't know about it, it could be in a private collection. Yes, it could be, yes. I suppose as time goes by it's less likely, but mm. I'd like to think there's something out there. Yeah. Um, but on his character, which is another thing that people talk about, um, I think his character is shown up by his, um, his career and his capabilities, mm. um, but also his intelligence. Um, Tom but jo George Cavendish um, also spoke of his his wit, so he was obviously highly intelligent, and it mm. was it was recognised at court how intelligent he was, um, because Wyatt goes on to say that although he was proud, um, there was a there was a great deal of, of um, mourning for him yeah. at court, and his great wit was mourned. Yeah, um, but and his it was death was a loss. loss. Yeah, yeah, and, and you don't say that about someone that was no. Deeper. However um, he was thought of and however liked he was, there would have been people that resented him um, yes. for the power and influence that mm. he had. P powerful and influential people are always resented yes. by people that aren't powerful and influential. And also because of his religious views and the way that the Berlins yeah. were of course you know, trying to replace or Anne was replacing yeah. Catherine of Aragon. They were seen as the upstarts. Yes. And the, the mere fact of his youth. Um, he was in powerful positions, um, far more powerful than people that were, who were a lot older than him, yeah. and that is bound to cause resentment. There would have been resentment and jealousy, definitely. That doesn't mean to say that that was his fault mm. or that he was in any way to blame for that, but mm. it's the way it is, isn't it? Yeah, Cavendish, um, in his verses on George, makes him sound like quite a womaniser as well. Yes. I mean, he was, he was obviously popular with the ladies, mm. but... Uh, being a womaniser, that um, well, that that might have caused issues in his marriage. Yeah, of course, I mean, we, we just don't know. We just and don't, know. don't know how much of that is true. Yeah. But he was obviously quite popular with the ladies. Yeah. But that could have been courtly love yeah. as well. I mean, and these men were expected to have yeah. a wife, and then women yeah. that they played up to and flirted and they, they with. They did. Henry yeah. Yeah. did. Yes. Um, so you, it was the way it was. Mm. Doesn't mean to say that Jane. Um, resented him any more than any other wife would no. have done, she would have expected it. I mean, um, Chapuy, um, the Spanish ambassador, in his sort of words about George, I mean, we get the bit of him complaining that George is always talking about religion mm. at dinner, but in his other dispatches, he, I think he really liked George and I certainly don't think him. he disliked him. No. Um, I, I haven't ever read anything in um, Chapuy's uh, comments, these letters, to say that he disliked no. George Boleyn. And George was often sent to greet him, wasn't yes. he? Yes. So, I mean, um, he, he, on one occasion, didn't he say something about that he was ex ex exceedingly courteous towards mm. him? Um, doesn't come across as somebody that disliked him. No. Claire and I would uh, just like to thank everyone at um, the Amber Lynn Files website for asking us the questions that have inspired this video today. Um, thank you so much for giving us these questions and this chance to talk about one of our favourite yes. characters, George Boleyn. Um, our book will be coming out very soon, um, George Boleyn, Tudor Poet, Courtier and Diplomat, and we hope it will be well received and that people will be interested in hearing more about George. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>